All right, so battery on the good camera camera just died. What I'm doing today is uh, from Bus Depot. I've ordered uh, HID or not HID <laughs> HD lighting for the van. Um, just got the box. I just opened it now, so you haven't missed much. But it comes with uh, two new lenses. I don't know. Let's see what's in here. Instructions. Bus Depot says right on it. Relays. And bulbs. 12 volt, 190 watt halogen bulbs. So the anyone who owns one of these vans knows that the lights are bleeding terrible. So we are going to and try to prove it, especially now because I have a baby coming within the next few weeks. Um, things got to be a little bit nicer and it's got to be a little bit safer. So I got new wheels that need to go on. I did all this soundproofing. I've only posted the one video so far. Uh, and two, one me open the packages and one of me installing the Go Westy window rubber thingies, which is right here. Which is right here. It's this part here I'm showing you. And uh, that is by far the uh, one of the biggest improvements so far. I've also put uh, this here, which I showed you already, I believe. If not, it's uh, from the True Zombie Life car, the de demolition car. This here is actually making a huge, huge difference as well. And then I installed uh, four four rolls of 3M said de uh, sound de deadening uh, underneath the seat, underneath the dash, and actually even underneath this, which has improved the weight of that. And I've actually changed some of the exhaust pipes. Uh, I paid someone to do that, so there's no video for that. Uh, in addition, I, I've added this lip here. Uh, this also came off the True Zombie Life car. I. Uh, did a little bit of caulking, it needs to be done better. And then I removed the piece that was here because it was scabby and then I have another one to go on. But anyways, today is H is the uh, lighting day, day of lighting. So we're gonna go through what I had to do to change it and we'll get some footage along the way. Fortunately, you're not probably gonna get before and after, you're just gonna get an after. But um, if you own one of these vans, you already know what the before is anyways. All right, thank you. So I've opened the lights, um, this one's got some weird powder thing going on, not too sure what that's all about, but anyways, it's got this brown back, scratch free front, they packaged the hell out of it so it um, wouldn't get scratched or damaged. Uh, this one's exactly the same except for this, it's got no weird powder stuff on it. Anyways, nothing to do with anything. but. Here's your two light bulbs. Not going to open them yet because my hands are still dirty. Here's your relay kit, and don't don't uh, be fooled by the size. These these got some good weight to them. When I first seen them in the package, I was like, uh oh. But no, these they they got to be able to handle what they said they are. So that's those, and then it comes with two replacement fuses. Um, that's these greenies and two crimpons. And it comes with a warning. Thank you for buying your vision kit. Blah, blah, blah. Be sure the headlights are properly aimed. All those things don't blind anyone. And then it comes with the instructions. It says, uh, whoa. It says, better, better parts, better prices. Well, the competition, uh, yeah, these guys do have better price for sure. Better parts, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to buy the same kit from the competition and do a direct compare. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's unfair to judge. But anyways, so I will read these instructions. Some pictures and fun stuff at the back on how to do it. And once I read those, I will uh, commence installation. 
commence installation. All right. Go sidetracked again, but uh, I changed those seats out. Uh, I'm sure there's some video coming of me doing that. Uh, I filmed what I could, but it's hard when you're alone, and Bianca's not here to film, so it is what it is. But anyways, back to the problem at hand. That's the fuse panel. I'm going to remove those three Phillips, and then I'm going to drop it down. And from there, according to the manual, I'm going to find a few things that I should do. Um, I'm going to perform those steps and tell you, and show you each one, one by one. <laughs> one hand camera, one hand screwdriver. That's skill, buddy. That's skill. And this is it. The apocalypse. Oh, that one's tight. Okay, I'm going to have to double hand it. And it's out. One important step that uh, I'm not doing because I'm... Uh, I'm a trained electrician. I'm a licensed electrician. <laughs> no, I'm actually just too lazy to do it. But definitely, if you're doing this, I recommend 100% that you remove the negative of your battery at least so you don't blow any fuses and end up costing yourself money. Me, I'll blow the fuse and then get pissy that I wasted the money. And then that'll be it. Anyways, I'm going to mess with this and get it down without disconnecting anything and uh, let you know what I find. So step one and two are talking about what they call a ground star. They're telling me it's located up behind the fuse box. I have found right there two ground stars. That's what they're calling a ground star. So they want me to connect well, the grounds of the relay uh, for the lights to the open spots, which is going to be a piece of cake, but impossible to film and do both. So, give me a second. Step one tells me, optional, cut the stock ground connector. Basically take the original wire that used to be ground for your headlights, throw a crimped uh, female connector on and throw it on that star, but it doesn't really specify which wire it is. It says it's optional, but recommended. If they actually told me the color of the wire or whatever, I would do it. But I'm not going, sorry, steering wheel shadow, but I'm not going to mess around with it. So it was optional, so it's not getting done right now. Number two, uh, connect the brown wire from the relays to the star. And they are done. Hold on, let me get... That is right. There and there, those two brown wires there and there. Let me see if I can get a light on that. Those two brown wires come down and to the relays. Step two is done. Let's see step three. It suggests that I connect the red wires from each relay to fuse 7's input side, power input. What they're telling me to do is find what side is the supply voltage on that fuse and connect these on the supply side. So I'm going to do that. Multimeter will be necessary if you don't know how to do it, but uh, well, you're going to need a meter to be sure. It's the only way. So I'm going to be honest with everyone. It's uh, not an easy task. You can see all the wires. They're tight, you can't lower this anymore. You find things like this, it makes you wonder, did it come off while you were pulling it down? The ones that are on there seem to be in pretty good shape. Oh boy. Anyway, so to get to Fuse 7 isn't the easiest game. What I'm gonna do is have to go through the front here, pull out these relay blocks and fish them down in there. So one thing I wanted to point out is that they give you this, what they call a piggyback. So you'll slide this terminal that's sticking out onto the hot 
and then you'll slide the other blade over this spade here. So basically this red goes on that and that goes on seven. All right, I'll write it down. So yeah, that's what I was trying to explain. They want you to do that. Get out of the way, white wire. They want you to do that. And then that goes on to seven. And this is an 82 diesel. Eight. And yours might not look exactly like this. Mine does. I managed to uh, turn the fuse panel like such. That's the front. And I've pried it out. Now I should have access to seven to push this red wire on. This red wire on. Let's see. Sorry, I got pulled away. You don't know that, but I've been gone for an hour or so. So next up, remove yellow and black wire from four, which is right here. It's the only yellow and black wire. So you remove that from four and then connect it to the low beam relay male connector. So here it is, voila, it was the yellow wire, the low beam, so then I take the other yellow wire from the low beam relay and put it to where that was. Voila, like so. Now I do the same thing to six with the white wire. So that's two over. You can see where the yellow wire is and two over is six. So I gotta pull that out. There we go. The white is installed for the high beams and the yellow is installed for the low beams. Let's see what's next. We're going to take these old ones out now. There's the grill. If you own one of these, you know how to take it off. Some flathead screws, quarter turn, blah, blah, blah. Adele's figuring this portion out because she's got clean hands. So let me take a look. So remove the old light. You use these little screws that are all bloody well stripped out. Bloody hell. Can't see nothing in this light, but anyways, they're out. Adele's fabbed that up for us. And I guess we just try to put it in. It's a blip, to be honest with you. Like, how do you know when in is in? It's crazy. You got that. Okay. Are you going to try to do the ring, too? Look at that. What a trooper. Terrible color shirt matching that van. Could have dressed to match, eh? The ugly stripe on my pants matches. Oh yeah, that, that does. <laughs> okay, so now Adele just needs to move that finger because it's right where the screw is. It's still recording. Oh, apparently there's only one way to put these on. No, it's not a job for the thing it hurt. Best screwdriver in the world. Friggin' terrible. Bleeding out. There we go. Not even in the screw there. Okay, so one new one on. And if you're like me, you have to you have to turn them on. Are they on? Yep. High beam? Yep. Is it a difference? Back up, let's see. Okay. Alright, one more to go, one 